Hello everybody, my name is Marco Hernandez. I am a 12th waiver. I graduated back in 2015 from Making Waves Academy. I'm currently a junior in McAllister College in St. Paul, Minnesota. And right now I'm studying abroad in Nicaragua and I will also be going to Cuba in a few weeks. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Gagan, for having me here and for speaking to your class about uh, my experience interning with Assemblymember Tony Thurman. I'm just going to give you a, a quick rundown of what I did. Uh, the most important thing that I had to do <coughs> as an intern was answering the phones and answering specific questions on specific bills. And so in order for me and for the rest of the interns to rightfully tell you correct information, we had to relearn everything about uh, the California legislature, especially the assembly and the legislative process in order to um, actually know what you're asking, uh, know where the bill is at and know what's next in the process um, because that's what usually uh, constituents are looking for when they call us in our office. And also I did constituent uh, casework, which means that when a person uh, from our district contacts us needing help uh, with a state agency, I would um, fill out a paper for them and they would uh, you know, tell me uh, which state agency they're having a problem with and what they want the office to do. And so my job was to contact that specific state agency and uh, use the uh, power of the assembly member's office to uh, work on behalf of our constituents so that uh, they can um, hopefully get uh, what they're looking for. But you know that sometimes that's not the case because uh, we don't have so much power and influence uh, as a lot of people think. Um, we're just there to help you out, be a guiding hand. We don't guarantee anything. Uh, we're just that um, that extra step that will hopefully get you to your goal with that state agency. Um, and also, uh, some bills that Tony Thurman was focusing on during my time there was Senate Bill 649, which was very controversial in our district, would allow uh, telecommunication companies like AT&T to attach small cell towers uh, around the community without a lot of regulations. And so a lot of people were concerned about uh, the radiation coming from those small cell towers and uh, the health of the community that uh, the small cell towers would impact. And so um, we got a lot of calls from people from Piedmont and, um, and Berkeley uh, that had a strong stance against it. And the assembly member listened to them and voted no for it uh, when it came to uh, the assembly floor. Another big bill that uh, a lot of people were contacting our office uh, on was Senate Bill 562, which was uh, which is the universal health care bill. Um, there were people who really believes in it and believes that it's necessary so that um, health insurance. Uh, is treated more as a right than a privilege and would be affordable to everybody in the state of California. But on the other side are people who believe that uh, the market shouldn't be regulated and the, uh, and the market, the ins especially the insurance industry, should be free. And that's how best uh, the insurance companies can help people out. And so uh, takeaway from being an intern in the assembly member office is... Uh, resilience. You will make mistakes and they do expect a lot from you but um, you know as an intern you will learn from those mistakes and you will grow as a person. I felt after um, doing my internship that I grew more as uh, a person wanting to go into the public sector and learn a lot of valuable skills like phone etiquette and also uh, persuasion and also learning the different state and county and municipal agencies in the district and learning their roles on um, when it comes to governing um, their jurisdiction. 
And I just want to leave it off of that. I um, Also, elections are coming up in 2018, and Tony Thurman isn't going to be uh, running for assembly member. He's running for... Um, uh, he's running for the California State Superintendent of Public Instruction. And just want to let you all know that uh, because it's important for you all to know who the different candidates are and when it, uh, you all will be of voting age. And it's very important to learn the different candidates so that you'll be able to make educated choices when it comes to voting. And so, and if you really do want to intern for the assembly member office you can always ask uh, tell Mr. Gagan about it and he can contact me and I'll uh, get in touch with you all right uh, that's it thank you so much for having me here and I hope you all have a nice day thank you